During this video segment, I will show you the auto filling time frames for teachers feature within curriculum track. This is typically something that you'll want to do initially as a brand new curriculum track school. First, let's show you what we mean by auto filling time frames. So, if a teacher goes to his or her course for the very first time, it's going to look like this. There's currently no time frames or units. And so what they'll do is they'll click edit time frames, click add time frame, and let's say that it's a, uh, they're going to use quarters. So they would type in quarter one, and then they would click add time frame again, and type in quarter two, and so forth, and set up their four quarters that way. And they'll need to do that for each of the four or five or six courses that they might teach. If you want, you can set up a feature that allows them to click on this copy the default. In other words, you as a school system will define these defaults. So notice I define those as quarter one, two, three, or four, and I can just copy those in. And now it becomes much easier for me to go ahead and add my units to those particular time frames. The place that you define those is in Admin, Setup, click on Manage Templates, and your school probably only has one template. Um, this fictitious school has quite a few templates because we play around with this account a lot. But I happen to know that this course of third grade science uses this template. Notice the column then here called Default Timeframes. If I click on that, Notice this is where I set those up. And so if I look at a different template, this one right here doesn't have those set up. So all I have to do is go ahead and type in uh, quarter one and quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. But the nice thing is I do it once as an admin and then the teachers don't have to do it per course. Instead, all they have to do is click on that little icon and uh, pull those down. And so that's all you need to do. Now again, they have the ability, if I go back to third grade science again, I can further edit those if I want to as a teacher. So if instead um, you tell me you want it to be quarter one, teachers can go in and say, I'm gonna call it QTR one instead. Or they could come in here and add even a, um, additional time frames. So if you want to lock them down so they don't have the ability to change these in any way, one of the things that you can do is you can lock those down for your teachers. So let's go to Admin Setup once again. Let's go to Manage Templates. And where you define those fields, you can click on this checkbox. Now if you don't see this checkbox, then what you should do is you should go to Support Center Submit a support ticket and tell us that you want to have the time frame lockdown feature enabled. Uh, for newer schools, that is enabled, but for older schools, this probably isn't enabled for you, but we can turn it on very easily. So if you check on this and click Save, what happens now is teachers are going to be locked down a bit where notice here's our four quarters. And notice I don't have the ability to edit these any longer and I don't have the ability to add. I can add units, but I can't add more time frames. So that's nice, it kind of locks it down for the teachers. And if you do that, another thing that's nice is if it's a brand new course that doesn't have any units created. Uh, let me see if I can find one. So here's a course that I just added, fifth grade science and advanced. And now notice the very first time a teacher goes in, if you assign these ahead of time and you lock them down, it's nice because the teachers don't even have to click on that copy feature. They're right there for them. So again, your options are you can just leave it as is and have all your teachers enter all the time frames from scratch, or you can define the default ones, but still allow them to edit those as needed, or you can define the default time frames and lock those down so all new all new courses that teachers work within will be forced to use whatever time frames you define for them